You're watching News 3, the Southern Illinois News Leader, live from WSIL-TV in high definition. News 3 starts right now. It probably just sucked that glass inside as it, as it took the roof off. Windows blown out, roofs ripped from homes, down power lines, and trees scattered across roads and yards. Well, nobody got hurt. That's the main thing, you know, so... Southern Illinois recovers tonight after a line of damaging storms moved through our area. Good evening. Those strong storms slammed our area tonight, destroying homes and equipment and leaving a slew of damage in their wake. Here is a live look at radar tonight. You can see that line of storms far from our region tonight and the calm here revealing the widespread damage they left behind. Here's what we know tonight. At least two tornadoes likely hit Southern Illinois in Williamson and Saline counties. So far, no reports of any injuries and power also got knocked out. Tonight, Ameren reporting 250 are still without power. We've got team coverage tonight of those storms and the damage. News 3's Ronnie LaForge is in energy tonight where a tornado blew out the windows of one business and Hannah Gabrasolasi checks out Saline County where the storms completely destroyed a home in Galatia. But we begin tonight with conditions right now cold out there tonight. Here's Jim with Weather First. It really is getting much colder. We see some very cold air coming in. One to ramp the storm up uh, with the look at some of the wind gusts coming in today. And these not necessarily associated with the severe weather. You know, just an idea of how windy it was. Many folks seeing wind gusts topping 40 miles an hour. Almost 45 in Mount Vernon, Poplar Bluff more than 45 and at the airport there at Cape Girardeau, almost a 60 mile an hour wind gust. That one likely associated with the thunderstorms that moved through. That activity is moving away from us. And as a forecaster, we're always looking ahead to what's next. And what's next, believe it or not, is a whole lot of cold. We're even going to talk about some wintry weather that's in the forecast uh, coming up in, in just a little bit. But for right now, let's talk about things calming down for the rest of tonight. We could see some clearing. I think we see quite a bit of sunshine tomorrow, but boy, is it going to feel different out there. High temperatures today were around 70 locally. We'll likely start tomorrow around freezing with Northwest winds around 15 miles an hour. Northwest winds all day. And despite the sunshine, we're only looking for highs in the 40s and there is winter precipitation in the outlook. It's coming your way in just a bit. Well, now to the impacts we're seeing after the storm tonight. A tornado ripped right down the middle of energy in Williamson County. Two businesses along Route 148 sustained damage. News 3's Ronnie LaForge joins us live outside of one of those businesses tonight. Ronnie. Yeah, Carolyn, those two businesses are Pine Lakes Golf Course, which is just about a block that way, and Renovations, which is right behind me. As you can see, Amarin uh, is fixing that power pole, and it's hiding the business. They just pulled that truck in front of the windows that you can see are now boarded up. But the damage from this storm extends far beyond the damage to that storefront. The path of this tornado ripped right through energy, blowing out windows and tearing off parts of the clubhouse roof at Pine Lakes Golf Course and renovations. Denise Lawrence owns the building renovations is located in in energy. She arrived to find glass and parts of the roof ripped off and scattered across Route 148. The main breaker box, car box, is out here on the other side of the building. It just sucked it out. It even pulled the hubcap off of that van. Dallas Holder works at Pine Lakes Golf Course. He says judging from the damage, it looks like a tornado went right through the middle of the course and hit the clubhouse head on. We think it probably raised the, the roof on that end and set it back down. So because we got uh, places we can see air gaps that we didn't have before. Philippa McCutcheon lives across the street from both businesses in a duplex. I think this is from the roof. Here there's a lot of debris from that. This is my garage right here. She was inside with her three children when the storm moved through. She said one minute she was cleaning in the garage and the next her kids were yelling for her to come take shelter. As soon as we ran past the living room window, that's when I heard the big loud, like sounded like a pop, like a boom, but it, it was very loud. It shook the house a little bit. Her sister's car window was blown out and parts of their roof landed in the neighbor's yard. She says she isn't even thinking about cleaning up just yet. She's too busy being grateful no one was hurt. 
I'm just glad to be safe. It, it was it was truly, truly scary. And thankfully, there's no injuries to report. Now it's just time to start cleaning up. Renovations has started with boarding up their windows. Like I said, you can't see it right now, but uh, Pine Lakes Golf Course, they've started putting tarps on their roof and they're going to assess the damage tomorrow and then start cleaning up. Live in Energy, Ronnie LaForge, News 3. Thank you, Ronnie. The storm ripping through parts of Saline County, including Galatia, where homes have been destroyed. And that's where we find News 3's Hannah Gabrasolasi, where she joins us live tonight. Hannah, just how bad is the damage there? Well, I'm actually standing where a home used to be in Galatia. Just take a look at how badly the storm ripped through this trailer home affecting several other homes just like this one in this community. Now with all this devastation tonight, officials tell us thankfully no one was hurt. There it is. Look at that. That is so scary. Scattered debris and personal items destroyed. What you're looking at is what's left of a home in Galatia. I understand there were children that would be normally in there. But officials say, thankfully, no one was home. At least eight homes are at a total loss across Saline County. And there's a lot of pole barns and uh, uh, buildings have been destroyed and trees have been knocked down. And when you and along the Johnson City Road here, you'll see a lot of the damage. And on east of uh, the American coal mine on US on Illinois 34 has had a lot of damage along there. Saline County Chief Deputy Ken Clore says getting the word out helped save lives. I think people had a lot of warning about that because of Channel 3 weather. Galatia Fire Chief David Grant tells us crews came together to respond. When Williamson County comes, Saline County, and everybody was really out to do what they could, and the EMA and everything. I mean, it was it, everybody worked together. Despite the damage, folks are thankful that no one was hurt. We can replace everything. Can't place human bodies. And everybody was safe and, uh, you know, good Lord, it's, only, it's a miracle everybody's, you know, alive. And joining me now is actually Eddie Anderson, the father of the son who lives in this home. And you said you've also experienced some damage to your home. Eddie, just how is the family doing tonight? Uh, it's a big adjustment right now where everybody's displaced. Of course, we've lost our homes. We've lost our belongings. And just luckily, though, no one was actually hurt during this whole storm. Yeah. No one was home at the time. Uh, one son got in one of storm shelter. My wife actually rode it out in a car because she couldn't get out of it because of too much pressure on the doors. But my son and his wife are both gone from this residence here and everybody's okay. Yeah. Now we did learn that everyone uh, is okay and that's good news, but you also mentioned that a pet was affected by this tonight. Yeah, they had one dog in the trailer when they left to go to work today and of course the pup never survived. Well, we appreciate your time and we'll be thinking about you, Eddie. Thank you. Now, officials do stress be careful tonight on those roads as there are several power lines down. And for those affected, like Eddie and his family, we'll be keeping you in our thoughts. Reporting live in Galatia, Hannah Gebra Selassie, News 3. Well, those strong storms tonight brought several reports of hail from across our region. Just take a look at these pictures from News 3 viewers. You can see pea-sized hail here in Marion. No reports of any serious damage, though, from that hail. Well, folks in Carterville saw major damage from the storm as well tonight. There was significant damage to this home on Finney Drive. Part of the home's roof was torn off in the storm, and a tree was also uprooted in the front yard. A resident describes a loud noise and seeing heavy winds outside his window. Several other houses in the area also had some minor damage, and a few cars had some broken windows. And in Spillertown tonight, those storms tore part of the roof off of this building. Heavy winds rocked this home from its foundation, completely knocking it off of its deck and ripping off parts of the siding. Belongings from the home spilled onto the driveway while the home owners assessed that damage. And the strong wind blew over this barn in Pittsburgh. This is on Fowler School Road, right off of Pittsburgh Road. The homeowner didn't want to talk on camera, but says the storms moved her barn off its base and pushed it several feet away, partially knocking it over. A tree almost took out this house on Dwina Road as well. As you can see, it did take out some of the storm gutters, though, but not much else other than some debris in the yard. 
Now, Illinois State Police Trooper Joey Watson says there there were no injuries.